First thing first that I usually always do before I start making my sushi is I saran wrap my sushi mat. Now if you notice, it only folds in one way. It doesn't fold in the other way. So what I usually do is I'll go the opposite way first where it doesn't fold. We'll start with one edge. It doesn't matter if this is tight or not, but when you push against this, make sure you push it, make sure it is really, really tight. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it the opposite way. We're gonna wrap this again. So your sushi mat is wrapped with saran wrap now, just to prevent the rice from sticking on it. The next thing that I'm gonna do is usually I prepare the rice. This is about a cup. I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of rice vinegar to one teaspoon of sugar. We're gonna add in some rice vinegar. You can go ahead and add in the sugar right away. It doesn't matter, it's not gonna solidify. It's not gonna clump up. So add in a little bit of sugar. Get yourself a little stirring spoon. Now, it's gonna boil really, really fast and you're gonna smell it. I'm sure everybody's gonna smell in this room. It's very pungent, the rice vinegar. But again, this is one of the key steps into making flavored rice and making good sushi. It's the rice vinegar and the sugar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour in the rice vinegar slowly. Okay. With rice, one of the key things that you wanna do when you actually use or make sushi is to always keep your hands wet so the rice does not stick in your hand. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of water to my hand. I'm gonna start mixing the rice. Your rice shouldn't be too hard, but it shouldn't be too glutinous. It should have a very good texture. And go ahead and taste your rice. Absolutely find a taste of rice. Perfect. A little bit of sourness, a little bit of sweetness. This gives the rice a little bit of depth. So it doesn't matter which side you use. It's all the same, glossy or not. It's all the same. So add up half of a seaweed sheet onto your saran wrap sushi mat. Now make sure your fingers are wet, all right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a handful and slowly you're gonna start covering your sushi mat with the rice. Once you have spread the rice evenly through your seaweed roll, go ahead and take some sesame seed, you guys should all have some, and sprinkle on top. You can use as much as you want or as little as you want. I usually like to cover it. It looks really pretty when you wrap it up. You're gonna flip your rice cover seaweed sheet over, all right? Make sure when you prep a cucumber, cut the tip off. It is very, very bitter. And in a typical California roll, we usually leave the skin on. This is where most of the nutrition is found. So go ahead and cut your cucumber in half. And before you put the cucumber onto your roll, make sure you deseed it, all right? Go ahead and cut yourself a good sliver. Place that right here. You don't want to place it in the middle. You want to place it closer to the side that you're going to roll so it makes it easier when you're rolling. You can push the ingredients intact and tight. The next step is to add in our avocado. Add in this delicious crab stick. So go ahead and break it in half. Make sure your roll is entirely covered side to side, end to end with cucumber, avocado, and crab stick. Using your hand and wetting it just a little bit, you're gonna use your four fingers to keep your ingredients intact while you roll this. Now keep in mind, this is where the sushi mat comes into play. So once you roll this, keep it as is. It doesn't look too pretty, but we're gonna make it look pretty with the sushi mat. Take your sushi mat, press on it gently, using all four fingers. You wanna press on it gently with your thumb. So using your thumb and your four fingers, press on it gently, remove your sushi mat. Now, you're gonna reform it again. And you're gonna keep doing it until you feel comfortable where the ingredients, your avocado, your cucumber, and your crab stick is intact. Before you cut your roll, very, very important to wet your knife. It prevents the rice from sticking. So, easiest thing to do with the California roll to make it even is to cut it right in half and put it right next to each other. All right, so I'm gonna cut this into four even slices. One, two, three, yep. Go ahead and pick it up with all four fingers, pushing onto it and spreading it out evenly. You have yourself a California roll.